Welcome back to 49ers Sack High Sports. We continue tonight with our second Sun Power Electric game and a second big matchup in the Sierra Foothill League. The Granite Bay Grizzlies have won their last three straight and hope to ride that hot streak facing an unbeaten Rockland team. Rockland and Granite Bay is our second Sun Power Electric game tonight. Parker Ream has it covered. Electric game. Parker Ream on hand at Granite Bay High School and it's homecoming against Rockland. We know the festivities are going to be good, but the game should be even better because these two teams have shown that they are legit this season. We start on Rockland's side. An injury to star quarterback Kenny Luth last week against El Oro means it's junior Joey Roberts opportunity to shine. We flip the script. Granite Bay has pulled off impressive wins against Vacaville, Del Oro and Oak Ridge in the past three weeks. They look to get their biggest win of the season tonight. You guys know the drill. It's Rockland against Granite Bay in this week's Sun Power Electric Game. A battle in the Sierra Foothill League. Let's get into it. Rockland at Granite Bay. First quarter, Noah Mitchum drops back and fires one, but right in the breadbasket to Elias Mulliken, who makes a nice play on the ball and takes it all the way up the sideline to the 15-yard line. But this game was all defense. 0-0 heading into the second quarter. The Grizzlies were playing some good defense of their own. Joey Roberts unleashes the deep ball, but Bryson Mogensen is ball hawking. Tracks that one down. Both teams trading defensive blows early, but it wouldn't last forever because it was Granite Bay that struck first play action. Mitchum scrambles to the right and finds Dominic Soros in the corner of the end zone for that catch. Six to nothing after the missed PAT. We knew this would be a good game though. Roberts takes it and uncorks the deep ball on the next drive. Perfect pass to Mulliken in the end zone. He catches anything that's thrown to him on both sides of the ball. 7-6 Rockland and they wouldn't stop there. Next drive we go. The Thunder were thundering. Roberts another long ball. This time Nathan Kent on the receiving end. Nice catch right there. And you know, I said it was homecoming. We gotta show you the homecoming festivities. Congrats to King and Queen Brandon Dolan and Mia Vinay. Now back to the game. Second half, Rockland driving the handoff to Anthony Johnston, who bounces it to the outside. Can he get there? The dive for the pylon, and he's in? Or is he? he? Let's see that one again. I think so, but they call him down. So Anthony says, whatever. Doesn't look as cool, but, you know, I'll still get it done. Five-yard touchdown increases the Rockland lead to 20-6. to six. Two minutes left in the third. The Thunder wouldn't let up. Play action. Roberts rolls out and finds Caleb Larson. One man to beat. He does. Once Rockland found their stride, they were rolling, and then... Four minutes left. Mitchum looking for the big play, but the hero of the day, Elias Mulliken, why not? Calls game with this interception. That would be the dagger as Rockland improves to 6-0 on the year and excels with Roberts at the helm and his three passing touchdowns. Let's hear from Mulliken about the win with his new QB. With the loss of Kenny, starting quarterback, uh, we knew Joey had to step up, and we had to step up as leaders and as players. So, you know, just putting in extra work at practice, um, making sure we're... Um, just doing our thing out here. 